Vietnam. If we can fight for them, why can't they fight for us Vietnam veterans? When I went for a job and they sent me to the state employment agency, you know what they told me? Well, I see you have a minor infraction here for public intoxication while driving a motor vehicle. So I said, what that mean? I did three tours over there, two voluntary tours. You didn't say nothing about that little infraction when I was over there fighting and killing people. The majority of my friends from uh, Brownsville, Harlem and Memphis died. Some of them, some of them don't have no motherfucking waist from down to up. Some of them can't see. Some of them are just shell shot. You think it out lucky? I got a motherfucking a Chinese-made rifle bullet in my motherfucking foot. It make me feel like I wanna kill every motherfucker who made me go over there. Every, every motherfucker who said I had to go. That goes from the motherfucker who put the stamp on the letter who sent me the token to the motherfucking bus that took me to Fort Dix. Every single one of them motherfuckers. That's how I make it. What's happening, fam? <clears throat> LAR movement still moving. Subscriber dot trying. You see the thumbnail. More importantly, you saw the clip. This one is basically, will America fight for you? So my grandfather was a Korean War vet. And, you know, we had the flag. For, you know, we had to fold the flag, all that kind of stuff, right? He had, he had all his military stuff, medals. He had a stroke. He was shell shot. So, you know, loud noises are like, ap once he had a stroke, he was bedridden. So the loud noises would, would mess with him. But as I became an adult, cause I was a child then, you know, people started talking about the stories, you know, being in Jim Crow and, you know, how he came up and, and you know, my, 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 my grandmother would have these t conversations about him. You know, my other, my other, my aunts and uncles and all that, they'd have these conversations. And there was this one in particular that stuck with me. Well, it's two really, but it's one in particular. Uh, as a veteran, he comes back, gets a job, he, he, he wound up be, being a, uh, working as a baker, um, gets a job or whatever, gets a home or tries to buy a home. But at the time, you know, he couldn't get a quote unquote GI bill and all that other stuff. Right. Couldn't do all that. You know, for all y'all who didn't know that, you know, um, when you was black, you know, country didn't follow their rules, even in the military. So. This white guy, like, look, you know, I'll I'll sign the the get sign the, the the agreement, and when and you and you pay it off, you know, just put it in my name, and, and when you pay it off, I can turn turn it over to you. So basically, my grandfather was working and overpaying the mortgage to pay it off and to pay this guy, right? And by the time when my grandfather basically paid it off, the white guy did white guy things, right? You know, uh, it's my house, buddy. You, 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 you're a lazy, shiftless snigger. Go somewhere. Kicked him out of the house. Grandmother, you know, with him, you know, aunts, uncles, my aunt, my uncle, mom and all that kicked him out um and then it's like well what are you doing for these veterans and and every now and then i i got family that you know vietnam vets and i know brothers who were vets that are not in my family vietnam does a storm you know all that right and it's, it's, it's funny, but it's not funny. 
when you hear people go, yeah, man, you know, I had this situation and that situation and it all, and, and, and you hear some of the, the people talk about it and they go, you know, I, I'm, I'm about to get this, I'm about to get this military for everything I can get, every benefit I can get because they, they, you know, they gonna, they gonna use you, over, they gonna use you and screw you. So some people was like, look, y'all gonna pay me everything. And, and knowing that they got shafted because they probably didn't get everything they were supposed to get anyways, right? Um, and then I look to, to now and it's like, people wonder you know, why people aren't in the military, the country's about to go to war, they're gonna do a draft. And it's like, man, you didn't kill the patriotism in this country. You know, I heard SWP say something recently about, you know, if this country was to go to war, you can guarantee that a lot of white Americans are gonna find exemptions for their white children. But what he said after that was 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 very telling and was very true. He said, you know, if that would have happened, people need to ask the question, what happened to all y'all patriotic people who was freaking out when Colin Kaepernick took a knee? See, what I learned, you know, and I, when I was young, you know, I could have went to the military. I didn't. I went to college. And one of the reasons I didn't go, because I was like, look, man, this country don't fight for me. You know, I, I think of that, um, that Muhammad Ali clip that still reigns true today. You know, you my opposer when I want freedom, when I want justice. You know what I'm saying? So when you're looking for patriotism, um, you're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. Not, no. Because at the end of the day, how this country is ran and, and how in, in the military's history makes it that way. If I'm not mistaken, and I could be wrong, but I believe even, even now it's the same MO where it's harder for you to get a promotion in the military if you're black. And the crazy part about it is it's a lot of black folks in the military. You know, they could just, you know, uh, uh, you, the, the, if I remember correctly, I used to talk to some of my homeboys that, that, was, that was in the military. Man, you know, you get, I couldn't get E5. I got the E6. I got the E7. Yeah. Yeah. My, you know, my white, my white uh, guys, they just bump up, bump up, bump up, bump up, bump up. Oh, sergeant, lieutenant. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I did twice as much as him. And what is this? It's the same, you know, it's the same good old boy system. Now, somebody could tell me I'm wrong, but I'm going to need somebody who's, who's not white to tell me I'm wrong. Cause if I remember correctly, that's what they, that's what it was on. You know, the, the, the guys in the military who had, who had the Confederate flags hanging up. And I, and I don't know if it's Nazi flags, but I know Confederate for sure. It, it's so weird that I was watching a movie recently um, about, what was that? What, what was that? I think it was Iraq. They made a military movie about Iraq and guys looking for generals. I forgot. I just saw it like two weeks ago. And in one of the scenes, they panned because they was on a military base and the guys were talking and when it, and they panned while they was talking to the guy. And you could see in the background the Confederate flag hanging up. And I tell my wife, I said, you, you need to pause and see that. And she's like, what? And I, that, you know, that's the patriotism we're talking about, you know? So the idea that, you know, sometimes you don't get, you know, it's not as much as it used to be, you know, you don't get the medals you're supposed to get. You don't get the, you know, you, you come back as a veteran, people don't believe it. And that it's just weird. So, you know, and the reason I'm talking about this and using that old clip with that, with that man, cause a lot of people do, you know, something happens, they might get in trouble. They send them to the military. But when you get out of the military, you you know, honorable discharge is a little different. Discharge, maybe, boy, if you get a dishonorable, you over, you over, you over. 
<laughs> you're not really over, but it's going to be very difficult. But with that being said, I've seen, I've met more black people out of the military who don't really go around waving their branch and their stuff on them because they like, look, man, uh, look, I, I, I'm done. I'm done. I ain't even, you know, whatever. The, the, the best they might use it for, you know, like so how you hit them jokes, oh, Veterans Day, Memorial Day, let me get this little janky piece of steak that y'all ain't gonna give me the good stuff, you know, or, you know, I might put on put something on the plates so hopefully I don't get pulled over as much. So, and then when you get to the politics of America, it's a lot of black veterans. They just lumped in, you know, the, 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 when, when we have things that black America needs, do they care about the black veterans that, that quote unquote fought for the country? Absolutely not. They care about the families that, that have lost their loved ones in these wars and in these battles and, and what happens to their family and what impacts them politically? Absolutely not. So at a certain point, it's like, man, you can keep your little fake patriotism, man. You go on some more with that. You know, but that's just my opinion. You tell me what you think. You know, like, share, subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm about to tell you. <laughs>